Hello, it's Caddy. I'm here to be to share my 10th process video titled Stuck on Alcatraz and this is my video 5 for my Work It Wednesday challenge. Um, for this layout, um, scrapbooking a picture of our trip in December to San Francisco. We visited Alcatraz and um, we had a really great time. It was a great tour. So I wanted to uh, document that. And I'm beginning with some white cardstock. Um, and just some black acrylic paint and I'm just uh, painting it on like you see um, just kind of messy kind of you know I just want to kind of like a grungy look um, but you know I did want to soften it up so I am going to add some blue to the page um, and then I'm taking some gray and white uh, acrylic paint I'm just mixing it to make it a little bit lighter and I'm going to uh, stencil that on with a, a Teresa Collins uh, stencil and this uh, I actually I didn't add enough modeling paste so it was a little bit runny and and that's why it kind of it didn't come out as clear you know the stenciling as I would have liked but it was okay either way my picture was gonna be on top of it and um, and a few things so it didn't really matter it wasn't a big deal to me but it was a little runny and it was because I didn't use enough modeling paste on that I'm just stenciling that on and it just kind of um, gives it that, you know, kind of like the prison bars is what I was going for. So that's, uh, that's that. And then I, I stepped away for a minute. I was just uh, getting my heat tool so I could heat that a bit because it was so runny that it just took a little bit longer than it usually does to dry because it was so runny. And then I'm just going to crop down my picture a little bit. And I'm super excited because I am um, well, halfway through my Work It Wednesday challenge. Um, I said I would uh, get ten, 10 layouts done from this kit that I created and this is number 5 so I'm halfway through. Um, I didn't really give myself a time frame to do it in um, just because I know I have a lot going on and work and and the kids and, and I just I didn't want to limit myself to a specific time because I knew that I am very busy so I wanted to do something realistic so I said I was going to do 10 layouts and and I'm through I'm already up to number five um, and it's been a week about a week and a half today is Sunday so it's been a week and a half um, and I'm fine with that um, hopefully I can get my 10 layouts done by this Wednesday and maybe uh, start another kit but we'll see uh, but for now I'm just happy with the progress that I have going on and I have stuck to my um, to my kit pretty well uh, you know just other than using up a few little things here and there from my stash from the rest of my stash I've stepped to it pretty well and today really um, the only thing I used that wasn't in my kit uh, besides the stamp because I do use a lot of stamps on this was just the uh, was just the white cardstock the white cardstock was you know just for my stash so but that's okay again it's just you know the idea is to use everything up so you know here and there if I use a stamp or a stencil or something it's okay because I'm still using my stash So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that key from Michaels, which I just got recently, uh, which I love. So I am going to use that um, because it is, you know, we, we are behind the prison cell. So it looks kind of like we're trapped in there. So it's a pretty funny picture. Um, and then I'm taking some ribbon because I want to use those um, those uh, letter, vinyl letter, letter stickers that you see on the left, which are that pretty blue color. And those are in my kit, so I want to use them. So I'm going to take this... Um, this kind of like a lattice uh, uh, ribbon or which is I believe off ray ribbon and um, I'm just spraying it and I'm spraying that with Lindy Stamp Gang uh, Starburst Spray and it's the blue Hawaiian blue and then I tried to cut that uh, corrugated paper with my trimmer but <laughs> that didn't work so I have to cut it uh, with my scissors and then I just kind of wanted two different shades of gray um, back there, so so I just cut those in half. And then I'm 
I'm just going to start placing everything on my page to kind of see how I want things to go. Like most of my layouts, I don't really know once I um, I start working, I don't really know uh, where I'm headed with it. Um, I usually have a basic idea of what I want to do, but I don't have, you know, I don't have a, like, I don't have a clear picture in my head of what I want to do. Uh, but, you know, I just kind of go with it and, and, and do kind of what feels right and, and just, just go with it. And so I know I want that key there on the right of my photo. And now I'm just going to place my title because I know what I want my title to be. I know which font I want to I wanna use. And, and I figured, you know, blue was a good color to kind of add to this layout. Just because, uh, well, first of all, I wanted to use those, those uh, vinyl stickers, which I love. I love those vinyl stickers. And... Um, and I think I was going to write out stuck on Alcatraz with the vinyl stickers, but I think there was like a letter I didn't have, which I didn't realize. So I'm just going to do Alcatraz with those uh, stickers. I think I only, I realized I only had, I think, one T, so I wasn't going to be able to use it because I have to use it in Alcatraz, so I think that's what it was. So I'm just doing that right now. And then I'm going to use uh, some stamps. So you're going to see I'm going to use a bunch of stamps. At first, I just uh, wanted to stamp on there, stuck on. And then I pulled out uh, some Fiskars uh, stamps, which I have I had purchased not that long ago. And um, and I started using those, and, and I think it came out really great. I just I got to use up a bunch of my stamps, uh, which is something I also want to do. I want to use my tools and my and my stamps a lot more. So so I thought that worked out pretty well. And the paper that I use to map the photo is actually all uh, from the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic, uh, yeah, Atlantic Collection Paper Pad by Studio Calico. I use three papers to just map that photo. So I'm just kind of placing those in that, uh, just kind of that weird um, position, just to just thought it looked fun. Rather than just doing the diamond as I was going to do, I just placed them like that and uh, and I thought that was fun. And then I'm just using some white thread and I'm going to put that through that key and I'll use it in two other places on the layout. And I also want to say, um, I'm super excited. Um, I think I uploaded another video earlier today, and I think I'm like at 78, 79, something like that subscribers here on YouTube. And I am so excited. I can't believe 79 people or 78 people want to watch my videos. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. So um, I, I can't wait to have some more. Um, I'm actually... I'm making a purchase today at Joann's. Um, I haven't finalized it yet, but I'm going to do it because they're having a big sale today at uh, joann.com. And I'm actually uh, picking up some uh, some things. I'm picking two up uh, because I am going to do a giveaway when I have 100 subscribers, which uh, hopefully will be soon. So I'm super, super excited. And I do want to thank you all for watching and taking the time to to uh, to see my videos. And, and, and I love it when you all leave me comments. Um, I get super excited um, so please if you have any comments leave them below or any questions um, if you don't like something or you think I can do something a different way I would love to hear that uh, constructive criticism is always great um, maybe some of you have an easier way of doing things or you know so it's always great to hear from you guys and um, and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that um, and just growing my channel and having more subscribers so if you have any scrappy friends who might like my videos just refer them to me and, and definitely once I reach a hundred I'll be uh, I'll be doing that giveaway which I'm super excited about uh, just a few goodies that I'm going to be giving away so here I start um, and I'm stamping and I I don't have the only acrylic block for stamps that I have is that small one you see there on top of my black ink pad so I took that the top of the of that ink pad, the color box uh, black ink, 
and I'm using that to stencil <laughs> um, so yeah I need to get those um, it's just you know sometimes when you go to like Michaels or Joann's or just any craft store you know you have a bunch of things that you need to buy like I need to buy a bigger acrylic uh, block but you know you just get uh, at least I <laughs> get distracted if there's like a sale or something and then I just start picking things up and then I forget what I actually need so um, yeah <laughs> I definitely need to uh, make a little list um, of things as I go that I realize that I need and, and just get those but but yeah um, but anyway the the uh, back of that of that uh, ink pad the, I'm sorry the cover of that ink pad worked out just fine <laughs> so it was okay and then I'm just I'm just stamping I'm not stamping in any specific order or, or I'm not you know stamping like any specific phrases in any order I'm just kind of stamping you know memory single moments make great memories remember when and, and just you know a bunch of different things and that uh, remember when which I stamped it there in that uh, in the middle um, I stamped it in blue and I don't have a blue that matches a blue stamp ink that matches um, the uh, the blue from the letters and the and the ribbon. So it was a, a it was like a darker blue, a different type of blue, and it was really bothering me. <laughs> so there I go, and I'm stamping it in black. Um, you know, just stamping over it, and it was cool because uh, once I stamped it, it kind of you know that blue kind of uh, seeped through a little bit, and then you can see kind of the edges. So it was cool. It worked out. Um, and then I'm just taking some Heidi Swap stamps now and I'm using those as well. And again, I'm super happy to use these because, um, you know, you buy a bunch of stamps and a bunch of um, cute little word stamps and, and phrases. And, and then, you know, sometimes they just kind of sit there. So it's good to use them and, and get them on the layouts because, you know, it, it's, it's just part of using your stash. You have a bunch of stamps or a bunch of inks or a bunch of, you know, things and then you just kind of keep them there <laughs> and and me sometimes um, not with stamps but with um, embellishments and things I tend to hoard them a bit and um, you know sometimes you don't want to use something because you love it but you know I mean you have to love it on a page so <laughs> you know this is what it's all about just kind of using everything that you have and and getting it on your pages and in your albums so so yeah I was I was happy to use my stamps here it was a lot of fun to stamp with those and I thought about using like colors but I really didn't want to you know I didn't want this to be a colorful page I just kind of wanted it to be uh, you know just like I said just a little like dingy and dark not really dingy but just you know just not a not super colorful page so so I was I was happy with the end result and um, one thing you don't see me do in the video um, at the top right above my picture there was kind of like an it's kind of like an odd empty space there and um, so I just added um, I had a cut out from my Cricut in gray I had cut out um, a just uh, just to love them uh, so I just put that on top because you know I was with my kids and I do love them so I did use that and uh, and you don't see me do that on camera but I did do that of course I always forget to do something <laughs> or I always decide to add something after I stop recording so it wouldn't be uh, a typical video of mine if, if that didn't happen so so you'll see that in the in the pictures in the end and then I'm just trying to fill up the little spaces with some smaller stamps uh, those are Heidi swap stamps as well And I just used my little alpha stamps uh, because I had typed, I had put a stamp down that said journey. So then I just uh, put in uh, our journey, L O U R, our journey on top. And then I just added a little uh, sticker from the uh, Dear Lizzie Napolitan collection that says blessed. And then uh, what I do is I 
I just uh, cut down the uh, the whole page. Uh, just you know, I cut about an inch off, and um, and then I'm just gonna mat it on black. So that little A was coming off, so <laughs> I had to secure that. And those um, those uh, thickers or those uh, you know letter vinyl letter stickers they they're pretty good I mean I've had those for a while and the glue on those is still pretty good so just that a I guess I had probably tried to use it one time before and, and it didn't work so so I had to glue that down and secure that but other than that they all stuck down pretty well and then I'm just gonna cut the middle off that black cardstock because you know I can reuse that so I'm just gonna cut that off and then map my photo on that And then that's going to complete my layout. Of course, my ATG had to give me a hard time. <laughs> and once I get that on there, that's going to be it. There we go. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, please let me know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave any comments below. Have a great, great day. Bye-bye.